we go. One of you will have to solve our puzzle or start shedding your clothes. Let's find out who you voted for. Brian? Donald. Donald. Chad, what about you? I chose Donald. Oh! <laughs> Not that it matters. Who'd you vote for, Donald? Doesn't matter, but I Brian. need Brian, but... <laughs> okay, guys, why Donald? Brian? I, I didn't want it to be me, and... <laughs> I think that, uh, I don't think any of the chicks would be upset to see Chad taken off and Dean's the only that? What's that? Why do you say that? Uh, he was telling me how he used to be a uh, male centerfold and everything, so he's used to being nude. You know, he was talking about it all day. And so, uh, Wow. <laughs> was so, I? Mom, if you're watching this, it's not true. Mom, it's not true. None of that's true. Why did you vote for Donald I, Chad? Know, I've heard the man speak a little bit. I don't know where he grew up, but, you know, the whole vocab thing. Plus, he's going to be funny. The guy's a funny man, so. It's, Ouch, Donald. I'm going to see the rest of his funny talent. <laughs> we'll see the rest of his you funny talent. You don't think talent. Donald's smart? Is that what you're trying to say? I didn't say that at all. I just said there might be a few words he might struggle with, just like the rest of the crew up here. You know, we'll see. Donald? Well, I feel this way. There's a lot of people in my congregation is going to be. <laughs> looking at this and it's going to be on, but uh, I'm up for the challenge. I, I actually hope he completes the task so I don't have to see him naked. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, That's a good and, point. and for that, I would gladly go to the dog pound if he chose to get rid of me. <laughs> well, Donald, you've been chosen for strip hangman. Why don't you come with me and let's see how it turns out. Hey. Hangman. Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling? Feeling great. Feeling good. Feeling good. I I'm hear you focused. have a little boy, right? Yes. How old well, is he? Demetrius is two years old. What's he gonna say about this? <laughs> Daddy's gonna show his pickle. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> is Daddy? <laughs> I gotta do it. I do anything I can for my son. So. Aww. I don't know. All right. Well, here's how it works, Donald. You get one guess at the puzzle each time you pick a letter correctly. But each time you pick a letter incorrectly, you have to give me an article of clothing. If you get too ashamed to continue, or you end up buck naked without having guessed right, you're off to the dog pound. But if you solve it, you get to decide who you want to go head to head with and who's going to the dog pound in your place. Got it? Got it. Are you ready? Pop that collar, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, let's put the puzzle on our Circuit City big screen. Donald, you can guess your first letter whenever you're ready. Let's go to A. Is there an A? Ooh. One A! Keeping the clothes on so far. Let's go with an N. Is there an N? Or you can continue guessing letters. You gotta continue. Okay. What's next? Can I have a C? Is there a C? There is no C, Donald. What's it gonna be? What you gonna give me first? Oh, you're sure, huh? Oh no. Oh, you can't decide, huh? I give you my. Turn. All right. Let's give him a little bit of help, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, take another guess. Let's go with the D. Is there a D? Oh, oh my goodness. That's great. You want to take a guess? Or go for another letter? I'm going to go for another letter. All right. Whenever you're ready. I'm gonna have to go with F. F, is there an F? There is no F. What's it gonna be? Okay. Oh, I'm starting 
some sweat up here. <laughs> okay. Let's go with a L. Is there an L? There is no L. right now. Are you guys nervous? See a little sweat on the brow over there? It's not scared. It's not scared. <laughs> We're enjoying this one, actually. You me nervous. This? It's on. Come on, Donald. You owe me an article of clothing. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, let me go with... Hey, man, where do you work? <laughs> I work in the airline industry. You do? Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> what do you think your buddies are saying right now? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna clown me. They're gonna clown me. Uh, wow. Is there an M? Is there an M? No M, Donald. <laughs> Daddy's about to show his pickle, son. Brian, you're so lucky. Oh! If you want to take a guess at the puzzle, you got to go all the way. And if I don't... And if you don't... You're off to the dog pound. I'm gonna have to go to the dog pound. All right, well, if you're not gonna reveal yourself, we're gonna reveal the puzzle. The puzzle is... Junkyard. I never got that. You never get that? No, I never got that. All right, well, it doesn't matter now anyway. There's still a seat in the dog pound with your name on it, Donald. See ya. Come and join me. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. You've made it this far in the game. Welcome to the game. Thank you. You're going to get Thank a chance you. to prove Thank yourself. You. It's time. It's time. It's time. It is time. It's on. It's way beyond all. Are on. you guys ready for the head to head competition? Most definitely. Most definitely. All right. What do you guys want to say to each other? I said, like a tree falls in the forest, brother, you will go down. You might be tall right now, but it's over. It's over. It's all it right. It is done. Anything you want to say? Um, no, I'm, I'm a man of action. I don't need to say anything. When it comes down to it, my ability proves everything. Always has, that? always will. I'm a winner, and now the rest of the world, and definitely you, know I will always be a winner. Okay, well, the head-to-head -head challenge is a fight on the paddle wheel over the tank. We'll see that when we come back to Dog Eat Dog. We're going to test someone's throwing arm. Let's find out who's. Terrence, who did you vote for? Marissa. <gasps> Shock horror! <laughs> Marissa, what about you? I voted for Greg. Greg? Well, I wanted to see myself naked. I voted for Marissa. <laughs> oh. Marissa? Thanks. Grow up with any uh, brothers that played football? Yeah, my father and my, uh, my brother. They taught me how to throw. Yeah. This could be exciting. Let's do it. Marissa, come with me. All right, well, here's how it works. You have to toss two footballs through that hole in our tower. 
Each football costs you one article of clothing. I have a football. What's it going to be that you're going to give to me? I am going to give you one sock. One sock. Okay. Here. Oh, thank you. Here's your football. Take your first shot whenever you're ready. and uh, clothing removal. Oh, really? It's not going to be my shoes. Oh! Okay. You are giving these guys a heart attack. What'd you say? I said, I've got to get this. Yeah, you do. Come on. The ball is really light. It is really light. That's we're my excuse. We're going to make it easy for you. Yeah. Okay, time to concentrate whenever you're ready. Take your next shot. I'm going to give you two footballs, which means two more chances to stay in the game for your last article of clothing. What would that be, bro? <laughs> Think about your dad. Dad's going to be watching this. Right. I'm, I'm sorry. Who are you apologizing to? I'm apologizing to my family. <laughs> I'm going to take this two footballs from you. Okay. Close on two. You've got two chances left. Whenever you're ready, Marissa. Oh! Oh! This is it. If you get this in, you're still in the game. And you can send either one of those guys to the dog pound in your place. The other one you'll be going head to head with. Yeah. Otherwise, you you're off to the dog pound. Oh my god, I can't believe it! You have done an amazing job. Ladies and gentlemen, give her a huge round of applause. You hung in there. But unfortunately, you're still off to the dog pound. Thank you. Oh, oh man, she, she went all out. I don't know if I would have done that. Yeah, I don't know if I could have gone, but hey. Yeah, you're God, big close. 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 Close.
Yeah, you saw everything. Okay. Bye. My, 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 my. Oh, I'm still in shock. <laughs> Things people will do for money. Do you, you like know it? that there has not been one man do anything on this show? The girls have done all the work. You guys are left. It's time to get into your bathing suits because you're going to be going head to head in the tank. It's time to prove yourselves. Please come with me. strip golf. Let's find out who. Colin, who did you vote for? I voted for Lisa. Oh, you have a thing out for Lisa. Lisa, for who did you vote though, for? <laughs> I voted for Colin. And Jessica? I voted for <clears throat> Colin. Oh! My heart was bumping there for a minute. <laughs> I love it when this happens. Colin, you're looking similar to the color of your shirt right about yeah, now. Yeah, that's about, that's about right. <laughs> Glad I did that last set of abs the other day. Lisa, why did you choose Colin? I'm a girl, and if something's gonna, if clothes are gonna come off, it's gonna be off of a guy. I don't want to see any girls. All right, girls, audience. So yeah, definitely, he's definitely up to the challenge when it's physical, but I don't know how he's gonna be in a little game of strip golf here, so we'll see. Jessica, why did you choose Colin? <laughs> Not so great when it comes to uh, any ball activity. <laughs> Are you ready to take on to strip it. golf? Yeah. All right, let's see what you've got. All you have to do is sink one putt on this screen and you've won. To make it even easier, we'll move the ball closer each new attempt you make. But here's the catch. Each new shot also costs you an article of clothing. Here's your putter, Colin. Let's make our first exchange. I have a golf ball. What's it going to be first? What shoe? About this lovely shoe. Thank you very much. There's your first ball. Take your first shot whenever you're ready. Four. Another shoe. Whenever you're ready, take your second shot. Four. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> A little strong there. Let me feel. Yeah. Okay. You got the muscles. You got the muscles. You do. <laughs> I don't want to touch that. Oh, you know, I'm used to it. But thanks for the uh, for the warning. Third ball. Moving on up to the next line. Concentrate now, Colin. Whenever you're ready. Hold, hold on, wait a minute. A little bit of an over-adjustment there. See ya. <laughs> yeah, I got a seat for you, baby. I feel the mood oh, rising. Oh, they're giving you a hard time now. Is. You'll see. You get that. Two shoes, two socks. Fourth shot. Yes, we'll be starting here. <laughs> they are not making this easy for you. Oh my goodness! Oh! So close and yet so far away. I'm holding this. I wouldn't mind holding it. Definitely deserves another ball. Thank you, and here's your putter. All right. Let's go up here. Oh, no. <laughs> here's the next line right here. Take it away. Yes, 
I'll give you a golf ball, uh -huh. and you start from the naked line. The naked line. You know what? Knowing how bad I am at sports where a ball is involved, I won't even make it from there. I'm going to the dog pound. <laughs> Jessica, that means we're about to test your stamina by making you face off on those two poles in the tank. It's time for a head-to-head -head competition when we return. Let's find out who you've chosen. Ward, who did you vote for? I voted for Lisa. Oh, my <laughs> gosh! About time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lisa, who did you vote for? Ward. <laughs> yeah. Leah, what about you? Ward, you're going down. Oh, yeah! Lisa! Oh. You have been voting <laughs> off women the entire time. That's why I wasn't going to start right now. <laughs> I couldn't do it to her third time. But do you think he's a good dart thrower? With the pressure of having to take it off, I think he might choke. Leah, what about you? Do you think that he'll be able to hit the mark? Um, no. What makes you say that, Leah? Because he's not a real man, you see. He's not a real man? No. What does like, that mean? He wears pink robes and... Yeah. What? You know? Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Yesterday, he has a pink yeah. robe. Junior brought out a pink coat after the swimming competition. 1999. Ward, you have a pink robe? Oh, forget it right now. Yeah. You're gonna wish you had your pink robe once we get out there. Yeah. It's time to play strip darts. Please come with me. Hello. Hi. Are you ready for this? Yes, I am. Play darts much? Uh, not in a while, at least not without a pint in my hand. So, uh, I don't know how we're gonna settle the nerves down this time, but we'll make do. Ever played strip darts? No. There's a first time for everything, Ward. Today, it's for $25,000. <laughs> and if I can walk around after this and say that my ass is worth $25,000, that's okay with me. These are the rules. You'll be tossing darts at our dartboard. Your goal is to reach a total of 30 points. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Notice there is a 20-point bullseye, but be careful. Everything silver is worth zero, including the area around the bullseye. Mm -hmm. Each time you need a new dart, it's going to cost you one article of clothing. Sweet. I've got a dart. Mm -hmm. And you've got your clothing for now. I've got a dart, too. <laughs> Want to make our first exchange? Let's do. What's it gonna be first? <laughs> the pants first. <laughs> and they're snap on too. Okay. Go, Pinky. Here you go. Please step up to 
back to the white line. Take your first shot whenever you're ready. Five points. What's it going to be next? That. The bandana. Whenever you're ready. That makes 10, Ward. What's next? It'll be my shoot. Whenever you're ready. Zero. You're still at 10, Ward. What's happening next? One shoe. Yes. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Zero. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stuck at 10 points, are we, Ward? <laughs> Zero. So close. Oh, yes. You're still at 10, Ward. 20 to go. One sock, da -da -da -da. one dart. Hey, no pressure back here. <laughs> yes! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God! <laughs> the view's great from here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> one sock, one dart. <laughs> Ten points. Are you going for the bullseye? What's your strategy now, Ward? You've got 20 points. You need 10 to win to keep you out of the dog pound. If you'll take off your underwear, we will give you two darts. That means two shots to get 10 points to complete. What's going to be? away from me on that one. Kind of got away from you? Well, you're, you're kind of tied up. I, uh, yeah, I was using that other hand for balance. But right. Now I'm lifting very heavy weights with it. Right. There's your last dart. This is it. Ten points or you're off to the dog pound. Good luck. Don't get Shoot for the silver. My exhibitionist streak sort of overrode my competitive one, and I yep. was just like, I can't wait for them to see my ass. Right. <laughs> and I lost focus on the game. You know what this mm -hmm. means? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That we're going to kick their ass in the final round. Yeah. That's what that means. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Ward is off to the
the dog pound, which means our remaining players, Lisa and Leia, are going to face off underwater in a swimming and diving competition when we return to Dog Eat Dog. Yeah. One of you is about to play strip darts. Rose, who did you vote for? I voted for Zane. Why did you vote for Zane? I, I'd like to see him with his clothes off. Victor? I voted for Rose. Mm-hmm. Zane? I voted for myself. <laughs> yeah, I voted for Rose. Why, Victor? Well, the obvious, uh, I... I don't think anybody wants to see me or him in our jockey shorts. Nobody or, or wants to? The majority of the people. I don't think she can actually even be able to get the points. So, so you were she, actually thinking about the strategy. I was thinking about the strategy, right. but then I started thinking about, hey, listen, you know, I, I wouldn't mind taking a look, a quick glance at what she looks like. Uh, Give Zane? her a shot. Well, I really don't want to see Victor naked at all. I mean, that's just like the farthest thing in my mind ever. And uh, Rose, she's what? cutie. I know. Sorry. Yeah. Rose is a cutie, so uh, let's get naked. <laughs> what about the darts part? What if she's good at darts? You can be voted off to the dog pound, you know. The way she throws a basketball, there ain't no way she's going to hit the dart. I might not be able to throw a dart, but I used to be a stripper. <laughs> oh! So, so we chose the right person. Yeah. So I'm not afraid of taking off my clothes. Let's take them off. Come on. Not a girl, baby. Not much more to say after that. You have been chosen to play strip darts. Let's see how you do. Come with me, girlfriend. Here we go. All right, well, let me tell you what the rules are. You'll be tossing darts at our dartboard. Your goal is to reach a total of 30 points. Notice, there is a bullseye marked with 20 points. But be careful, everything in silver is worth zero, including everything around the bullseye. Each time you need a new dart, it's going to cost you an article of clothing. For right now, I've got a dart, and for the moment, you've got your clothing. So, <laughs> are you ready to make our first exchange? Let, let's go. What's it gonna be? A shoe. A shoe? Yes. All right, take off a shoe, I'll give you your first dart, we'll get you into position. One shoe. Oh my gosh, I just noticed you don't even have socks on. Nice. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, here's your first dart. Take your first shot whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Zero for number one. You hit the board, not the start. Yeah, I guess I... I have another dart. Okay. What's it gonna be? Another shoe. Another shoe. The pedicure matches, there's no shame here. Here's your dart, stay behind the white line. Whenever you're ready. Not even on the board, Rose. You're gonna have to do better than that. I have another dart. What's it gonna be? My blouse. Your blouse. Okay, whenever you're ready. I'll take it off now. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, take your third shot. Oh, 10 points! Nice! That may be the lucky dart. Would you like it back? <laughs> I don't know. Um, you got 10 points right off. I'm gonna try one more time. Try one more time? My pants. All right, let's take off the pants. I'll give you the dart. Okay, concentrate. 20. It's gonna be 20. Okay. You've got 
20 points. All you need is 10 more points to stay in the running for the 25 grand. Okay. And you can send one of these boys to the dog pound in shame. What's it gonna be? My bra. should be. <sighs> Rose, who is it going to be? Who is going to the dog pound right now? Victor. Victor, you are off to the dog pound. Okay, Zane, come on over here. Come on over here, Zane. You must be relieved, young man. Yes, I am. <laughs> Rose, why do you want to go head to head with Zane? I know I can beat him. Well, we've seen what you've been made of. He's That's just joining right. us now. You're yes. going to have to prove yourself. That's right. Rose and Zane are going to go head to head by hanging above the tank until somebody drops. It's time for a head to head competition when we return to Dog Eat Dog. <laughs> to come up here and start shedding your clothing in a game of strip hangman. Let's find out who it's going to be. Nick, let's start with you. Who did you choose? I chose Eddie. <laughs> Eddie! I did. I didn't know you cared. Well, I think you have some uh, wonderful piercings and some great tattoos in America and the audience should see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Eddie, who'd you vote for? I voted for Nick. Uh, Something going on between you guys? Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out who Darren voted for. I'm the third party. I voted for Eddie. <laughs> no, Maria, who'd you vote for? Nick. Oh, my goodness. OK, I have to say, I'm very surprised. Uh, Maria, I thought it was going to be you all <laughs> the way. These guys, I'm a little worried Thank about. Thank you. <laughs> it's a tie. Two votes for Eddie, two votes for Nick. And in the event of a tie here on Dog Eat Dog, the deciding vote goes to the player who was last sent to the dog pound, which was oh, Angela. Angela. <laughs> you have to choose between Nick or Eddie. Who do you prefer to see possibly have to strip down? Nick. Nick. Why Nick, Angela? Because I really need him in the dog pound. <laughs> Why do you say that? I, I'm willing to take a risk on this one. For some reason, my intuition tells me that I'm making the right decision. All right, we'll go with Angela's intuition. <sighs> Nick, it's all about you right now. Well, I don't know what to say, Brooke. I'm uh, taking it back. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, Eddie, why did you vote for Nick? Yesterday in camp, uh, several times we were just talking about all the wild things that could happen on the show. And when the topic of nudity or showing anything came up, he totally got cold feet and backed up. Really? He was, yeah, he was Unlike tough. Darren. Oh, wish. That's the freak of the group. What are you Forget talking about? about? <laughs> Forget about it. I wouldn't have done it. Darren wanted to do right. it. He was begging. His shirt off. No oh, way. Okay. Any fears here? Not at all. Ever dream of being a Playgirl Centerfold? Not at all. Not at all. No? I'm pretty confident about this, uh, but we'll see what happens, right? Shy as you may be, you've been chosen for Strip Hangman, so come on out. Let's play the game. All right. <laughs> Now remember, you get one guess at the word each time you pick a letter correctly. But each time you pick an incorrect letter, you have to give me an article of clothing. If you get too ashamed to continue or end up completely naked without having guessed right, you're off to the dog pound and have lost your shot at 25 grand. But remember, if you figure it out, you'll get to send someone who voted for you to the dog pound in your place. Are you ready? 
think so, yeah. All right, let's put the puzzle on our Circuit City big screen. Nick, pick your first letter now. E. Is there an E? Woo, two E's, Nick. Lucky so far. What is your next letter? T. T. Is there a T? No T, no Nick. T. Take something off. I like this game. Next letter. R. Is there an R? No R. Nick? What's it gonna be? Shoe number two. Brooke, I'll be honest with you, this is a reality show nightmare. <laughs> How about G? Is there a G? No G, Nick. A sock? You're giving me a dirty sock instead of your shirt? Okay, I guess that is your choice. Next letter, please. A. Is there an A? One A. Lucky you. Do you want to take a guess? Or do you want to continue guessing letters? I'll keep guessing letters. Okay, what's the next one gonna be? N. Is there an N? Uh. One N. You're very lucky. Would you like to take a guess? D. Is there a D? Yes, there is. I'm getting nervous that, um, we're only going to get to have seen one badly pedicured foot here. Brooke, that's a good assumption. <laughs> um, are you going to try and solve the word, or are you going to continue guessing letters, Nick? I'm going to continue guessing letters. H. Is there an H? Yes, there is an H. You're getting very close. Hey, guys, are you guys getting nervous yet? Yeah. You should be. S. Is there an S? No S, Nick. For two badly pedicured feet. You should smell them, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. Class. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Thanks. Anyway. Um. <laughs> S. I think you already said S, but it costs uh, you anyway. Awesome. You owe me another article of clothing. What's it gonna be, Nick? Shirt or pants? Little encouragement from the audience. Come on, he's out here all alone. How you feel now, Nick? A little nervous, Brooke. Still? You were nervous five minutes ago. I'm still nervous. Are you I more can't nervous? I can't figure out this word. You can't? Do it over again. Remember, if you take another guess at a letter and you're wrong, you owe me another article of clothing. And you don't have much left. You're very observant, Brooke. <laughs> uh, I'm just guessing, but I mean, I don't know. You are wearing something under the sweatpants, aren't you, Nick? I don't know. We'll save that for the next letter. I guess we will. Uh, M. M. Is there an M? No! Letter and you're wrong. I have a feeling, right? Brooke, honestly, I have no idea. I just can't do it. I, I, I don't know it. If you get one more letter, you'll probably guess it like that. You've got a lot of supporters here, Nick. The choice is yours. You can guess one more letter, but if you get it wrong, you're gonna be naked. 
That seems to be the case, huh? <laughs> that seems to be the case. I... If you get it right, you could win the $25,000. You might end up being top dog. You might end up taking this whole thing home. Quick, I think I'm going to have to make my way to the dog pound. All right, well, if you will reveal no more of yourself, then we're going to have to go ahead and reveal the word. Nick, you know what this means. You just gave up your shot at $25,000. You're off to the dog pound to join Angela and Sherry. I'm very sorry. Oh. Good attempt. We're sorry we couldn't see more of you. All right. Well, we're really getting down to the wire here. The next challenge is the pendulum swing, which is a test of coordination and endurance. Remember when you were a kid and you wanted to get your swing all the way over the bar? Well, we've built you a swing that can do it. The question is, can you make it happen? You have two minutes to complete one 360 degree revolution. So, who do you think can't get it up and over? It's time to choose the loser. Put to the test when we come back to Dog Eat Dog.